Pope Francis describes Saint Joseph as a beloved father, a tender and loving father, an obedient father, an accepting father, a father who is creatively courageous, a working father, a father in the shadows. A beloved father, by making his life a sacrificial service to the mystery of the Incarnation and its redemptive purpose, he employed his legal authority over the Holy Family to devote himself completely to them in his life and work. He turned his human vocation to domestic love into a superhuman oblation of himself his heart, and all his abilities, a love placed at the service of the Messiah who was growing to maturity in his home. As Saint John Chrysostom said, at the service of the entire plan of salvation. The greatness of Saint Joseph is that he was the spouse of Mary and the father of Jesus pointed out that Joseph concretely expressed his fatherhood. Thanks to his role in salvation history, Saint Joseph has always been venerated as a father by the Christian people. This is shown by the countless churches dedicated to him worldwide, the numerous religious institutes, confraternities, and ecclesial groups inspired by his spirituality and bearing his name and the many traditional expressions of piety in his honor. Innumerable holy men and women were passionately devoted to him. Among them was the of Pabila, who chose him as her advocate and intercessor, had frequent recourse to him and received Whatever graces she asked of him, encouraged by her own experience, Teresa persuaded others to cultivate devotion to Joseph. Every prayer book contains prayers to St. Joseph. Special prayers are offered to him each Wednesday, and especially during the month of March, which is traditionally dedicated to him. Popular trust in St. Joseph is seen in the expression, Go to Joseph, which evokes the famine in Egypt when the Egyptians begged Pharaoh for bread. He in turn replied, Go to Joseph, what he says to you, do. Pharaoh was referring to Joseph, the son of Jacob who was sold into slavery because of the jealousy of his brothers, and who, according to the biblical account, subsequently became viceroy of Egypt.